Now in this quick video, we take a question during our Friday open discussion Q&A session uh, regarding a customer who was selling naked put premium into higher volatility on AAL. After a couple of rolls, the question of course is, should I keep selling the puts that are expiring or buy the stock now? The goal is to hold the stock long term. The direct question from Graham was, I've been selling 10 strike puts on AAL, originally for April 9th, and then rolled that to the April 24th strike. We've taken in about $1.35 of premium, and interestingly enough, the stock on Friday was trading right at $11.35 per share. Now, Graham would like to own the stock in the long term. Now, he sold this put below the strike price at the time to give me some downside clearance. In order to be assigned, naturally, the stock would have to fall. Now, any ideas that I should do? buy the stock or should I keep collecting the premium? Well, the current position, including profits, we have a 10 strike put that's open for April 24th, which does gives us the obligation to buy the shares of stock if it's trading below that price at expiration. The total premium in right now is 135. If the stock was assigned at 10, that would give a cost basis of 865 per share. Stock has now dropped, it's Wednesday, to $10.51, but we'd still have a lower cost basis if assigned on the position. But again, Graham wants to end up holding the stock long term. So our discussion during the webinar turned to this idea of continuing to sell premium into high volatility without protection in place, or buy the stock now and convert it to a married put position. Here's what I would do, Graham. I can't, answer, I can't answer this question directly for you. I can't tell you what to do. All right? I, I can't give direct trading advice on a particular position. Here's how I would approach it. Based on what you prefer your cost basis to be on this stock, there is nothing wrong with continuing to roll out and sell new premium on this week by week, getting the premium in. If you're more near-term bullish on this position and you want to own the stock, then I would say buy to close your puts right now, buy to open the shares of stock using your effective cost per share from the profit that you've received. You know, how much this is lower the cost basis? You showed me so far about $1.30, so it'd almost be worth $10 anyway, um, depending on your buyback cost of this 60 put that you have open right, the 60 cent put that you have right now. So, and then I would just go into the insurance tool and say, hey, what would a married put look like on AAAL, long-term holding, if I have a cost basis of $10 after the premium I've generated on this position, I want to, why am I doing this? Well, I'm buying the stock now to take further advantage of the upside. You could always roll up the put as it starts to move. If we start to see AAL move back to 12 slowly, then 14, then 15, you can keep rolling up and generating premium with the cash secured basis to potentially buy the shares of stock if it is put to you. Um, but you put in your cost base here. I'm going to go to November. That's the first one that's at least 150 days out in time on the married put position. So you have a 15.7% unrealized profit. Oof, nothing here is bulletproof. That's a shame. Okay, it's due to the high volatility. And this is a key. This is very interesting. So what this is telling me that even with your cost basis of 10, if you bought the 13 strike put with the stock at 1157 for 443, you're still risking 143 or 9.9% .9 of what you invested. A little bit high, as you know, for my married put taste, Graham. Why is that? It's because volatility is pretty high, which gives us the key, doesn't it? If you're comfortable with the cost basis for the naked put position, and you're comfortable enough with this stock that you don't fear it will drop to seven dollars eight dollars six dollars or five dollars per share be cut in half if things progress the way that they have or get worse okay we, as sam mentioned we see some silver linings out there on some treatment methods and other things going on but there's still a lot of volatility out there but with the high volatility gram what does that tell us well maybe that buying the married put position right now and taking this too high of a risk might not be a good idea and if you're confident with the position staying above that 10 range and don't mind being put, then because of the high volatility, you might actually be better off selling the put premium at this time 
getting that higher volatility premium, and even if they keep expiring, you're still lowering your cost basis of the potential purchase price, unless it really jumps up to 15 or 16, then you would have been better off. That kind of comes down to your expectations, that SEGA model that we always talk about, Graham. There's nothing wrong with continuing to sell premium right now while volatility is inflated. If you're confident enough, that the stock drop won't be too deep long term. Or effects of paying back any potential bailout money won't put AAL in debt for an extended period. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm going down the, the route of advice here and I'm trying not to, but the other things you have to consider is if the airlines open back up, if, if planes start really flying again and fears of spreading the disease fall off, are they going to go back to where they were right away? Absolutely not. There's going to be a fair percentage of the population across the world, 50, 60 percent, that are still going to be probably hesitant to get on a plane and go flying. Even though vacation prices are going to be low and ticket prices are going to be low, there's still going to be that inherent fear. And keep in mind too, I'm not saying anything bad about the airline industries, but one last thing that we want to consider is that what's happened to many of us over the course of the last 30 days is those of us uh, that are still fortunate enough to be able to work, even those who would travel. My father used to do it um, when he was still employed, uh, a PhD, uh, I'm sorry, he was a polymer chemist uh, down in Tennessee for AstraZeneca for a while and then later another company. He would actually fly to Japan once every two months because that was their main base of operations. But a lot of the stuff now for people who did those kind of things, who, who flew to different countries for work, have now been able to consolidate a lot of that face-to-face -face meetings with technology. It had been happening for a while, but now a much larger portion of the workforce is forced into it. So is business flying going to slow down as well? I'm not trying to be doom and gloom. I'm just saying this goes back to what we talked about at the beginning of the presentation that Sam pointed out, keeping an eye on the news, what can happen with the positions and the expectations of the growth that you have in this position potentially with an eye to are things going to go back to normal right away or it might be more of a prolonged journey to the bullish side for some of these airlines. Okay, I'll probably be proven wrong by every statement I just made, but hey, the key is, there's two keys here. If you can continue to do the naked put positions on around the 10 strike and continue to generate premium, that's great because implied volatility is high, but you have to be confident that the stock isn't going to run the risk of a fast 40, 30% decline as numbers continue to go south or don't exist actually at the time. On a side note, once you get enough profit on your position and it looks like you can buy the stock and have a no risk, locked in profit, bulletproof position, I'd probably rather be in the stock with the married put at that time if my outlook is extraordinarily bullish and a full recovery with no risk in the trade whatsoever. It just makes me feel more comfortable. So analyze what your position is. Analyze what your gain is on the position. Can you find a good married put position that would give you a very low risk or bulletproof status right now? If there's one that matches your goals, I'd go ahead potentially and buy the stock. Considering the profit you have from those put sales that you've got, opening is a married put for the long haul. If you're not there yet, this is showing a negative locked-in profit, which means a 4% risk, a 6% risk, 7% risk. Maybe still generate a little bit of premium in the short term with the higher volatility to get you the money that you want until you feel confident that you can get that long-term bulletproof trade going forward.